What's up guys? Got a new toy here. It's called the Porta Blaster. Just got this not too long ago. They sent it to me because I was kind of curious. This thing is pretty light. I mean, it's like two fingers. Everything's tucked inside of it. Now, as you guys know, I have a, a Milwaukee transfer pump. Well, guess what? It's already leaking out of the seal already, and I haven't even done nothing that would have caused that. So I'm kind of looking forward to using this one because it's got a few features on it that should protect the seals unlike my Milwaukee that wasn't really built for what I was using it for. This right here is pretty simple as you've seen I just put it together and then you got your water line here got a quick disconnect on there you've got your outlet so it hooks right onto there it's got a little screen on the bottom of it to protect uh, you from sucking things up. This is going to come in handy for today's cleaning because I'm doing evaporators inside. I don't want to run a hose all the way through the building. This does not run on batteries but I've got the battery pack here from Milwaukee that gives me 120 volts here this thing is so efficient, it can actually run it. Low power, high power. This thing only pulls 80 watts, and I believe this does 180. We're gonna be good to go there, so I can carry this thing inside the store, and I have to run no extension cord, or you can always use your you know, cheaters or whatever it is you gotta do. Let's go ahead and get some water in there. Shove that thing down in the bucket like that. Turn this thing on, high pressure. Pull the trigger, and boom. Sweet, and it shuts off when you're done. So when you want to spray it, here's 100 and 150 pounds of pressure. Drops down to about 105, 110 when it's running. That's on uh, high, here's low. Low drops down to about 70. We've got a adjustable spray pattern. If you want to just rinse something off, that'll work out good there. And if you want to go higher pressure, you can go there. This is two coils thick, you got to remember too. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's making its way through it. And then depending on what you're doing, like me, I'm going to clean off the evaporators inside on the walk-in cooler. Now, it gives you a heck of a lot of hose here. That's, uh, I don't know, I'd have to look it up, but I would say it's probably a bit of 15 foot. It's great to talk about things, but I'd rather see things being used. I'm gonna run it on low at first. So here we are at the back. I come in here with this real fine mist. We're not coming in really hard, so we're not gonna overfill the pan. Let's go ahead and do high now. We're able to knock those, uh, all that crud off of it, no problem at all. I think the only thing I'm going to change on this, I'm going to get my bending tool out. I'm going to see if I can't bend this into a 90. Because for me, I need that, that angle so that I can get in there. So that would be the only thing I would change on this is put a 90 on it so I can get in there like this. Because I don't have the room to go at an angle like this very easily. Normally these are right up against the wall and you're never gonna get into them like this. That piece right there is a little too short to be able to bend it there, so I'm probably gonna have to bend it an inch down from there. All right, I do not recommend trying to bend this with your bending tool, because it will kink the stainless steel here. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it's gonna give me a better 90. If I was really worried about it, I could always cut it here, here, and put a 90 on it and just solder onto it. Not a big deal, that's what they did here. You can see that's been soldered on. some really nasty ice machine here and I've been scrubbing at it and I've done giving up. We're gonna just trash the ice. We've got all that crap underneath there that we're getting. So we put it on low. We're actually able to fan it out and do that without bouncing back all over the place. We'll rinse all that crud out. We're, we're making some good progress. It's making this a lot easier just by using soapy water and running it right through the machine. So it's doing a really good job. All right, well, we got it cleaned up, ran sanitizer through it, got everything out. This crap here is locked on. You ain't getting that off even with a thousand pound power washer but it got it cleaned up and we got all that crap out behind the coil and uh, sanitized it and everything while we're at it so we're good to go on that unfortunately this guy's got really bad water and that's what we got the uh, porta blaster there really made this job a lot easier this thing blasted all the nasty crap out and was able to speed it up it a lot easier I'm pretty impressed with the fact that we got the high and low switch, the pump shuts off when you're done with it. It's got my recommendation uh, as far as longevity, how long it's going to last, I mean, time will tell. 
I've only had it for a short duration of time, but as of right now, it seems to be working really good. I ran this thing for probably 25 gallons, 30 gallons, and my Milwaukee power supply there still has one bar left, and I think I was at three when I started. But otherwise, you can get the extension cord out, and I just didn't want to mess with it because I'm out here in a dining room area. So, guys, make sure you check out Subco Tools, and until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.